Hi there, in the following video I will show you how to answer uh, the June 2009 question 4 on the OCR call 4 um, past paper um, and the question again is on the calculus of trigonometric functions. Let's take a look. Okay, we want to differentiate the following function and simplify your answer for 4 marks. Straight away you should look at that and you should think um, we've got two functions, we've got an e to the x, and we've got this combination of, of functions here, which I can think of as one combined function, and they're multiplying by, by each other. So we should think of what's called the product rule. The product rule tells us okay, that if we're trying to differentiate two functions of x multiplied by each other, u and v, if we're trying to differentiate those, we can work it out by doing the following. We can take u and multiply it by the differential of v and we add uh, v times the differential of u. Okay, so we're going to lay things out nice and neatly. We're going to say that u equals e to the x. Okay, so therefore u dashed. The differential of e to the x is e to the x. That's what makes the exponential function so special. Its gradient function is the same as the actual function. And if we take the next function v to be sine uh, of 2x minus 2 cos of 2x, what would happen if we differentiate this? Well, if we differentiate sine 2x, we get 2 cos 2x. And if we differentiate minus 2 cos 2x, well, the differential of cos 2x is minus 2 sine 2x. So multiplying by this minus 2, I would end up getting plus 4 sine of 2x. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, use the product rule then. Uh, working out this differential here, it's u, the first function, which is e to the x, times the differential. So it's going to be e to the x multiplied by um, 2 cos 2x plus 4 sine 2x and it's going to be um, the function v plus v which was uh, sine 2x minus 2 cos 2x okay all multiplied by u dash which is e to the x now rather than multiplying out and uh, getting over complicated here let's just take a look at things this times this would give me 2e to the x cos 2x. And this times this would give me minus 2e to the x cos 2x. So in effect, that uh, would cancel with that. Here we would get 4e to the x sine 2x. And here we would get 1 lot of e to the x sine 2x. So in total, adding these two things together, we would get 5 lots of e to the x sine 2x. And hence, uh, we have done the first part for four marks and simplified our answer. The derivative of that is as follows. Okay, let's look at the second part. Again, this key word that's coming up over and over again in these papers, hence, find the exact value of the following. So we want to integrate this. Right, how can we use part one to do that? Well, we knew in part one that if we differentiated this, we get that. So if we integrate this, we would get this back. I.e., what we're saying is we know that the integral of 5e e to the x sine 2x with respect to x is equal to this here, the original function, e to the x sine 2x minus 2 cos 2x. Okay? But the question in part 2 isn't 5e e to the x sine 2x, it's the integral of 1e e to the x sine 2x. So this must be a fifth. If we divide both sides of this equation by 5, it would give me the integral of the thing thereafter is a fifth of that function we started with. So the integral between 0 and pi by 4 of just one lot of e to the x sine 2x dx must be a fifth of all this, e to the x sine 2x minus 2 cos 2x. Okay, and we're going to evaluate that, 
evaluate that between 0 and pi by 4. I'm going to take the fifth out, it just confuses matters, no need for in. I'm going to evaluate that between 0 and pi by 4. Now we're down to a simple numeracy problem. Substitute in pi by 4, substitute in 0, take the answers away from each other, keep the fifth out the front. So you've got your fifth, okay? So, we would get e to the pi by 4, but before we do that, let's think what happens when the pi by 4 goes into each of these things here. If I put pi by 4 in here, I would get sine pi by 2, which is 1. If I put pi by 4 in here, I'd get 2 cos of pi by 2, but cos of pi by 2 is 0. So I would get a 1 here, and it would be 1 times e to the pi by 4. So I simply get e to the pi over 4. And the other one, when I put 0 in here, well, e to the 0 is 1. I put 0 into sine 2x, I get 0. And I put 0 in here, I get minus 2. So this would give me uh, e to the 0 minus e to the 0 multiplied by minus 2. OK, let's continue and work it out. That's e to the pi by 4 minus minus 2, because e to the 0 is 1. So that's plus 2. So we would get a fifth e to the pi by 4 plus 2. And hence the answer to our integral in exact form. Do not put it in decimals because they ask you for an exact form. So that means leave it uh, without uh, decimalizing it. I hope you found the following useful in your revision for call 4 and in particular for your revision on calculus of trigonometric functions. Thank you for watching and listening.